So why is it that we want to use a spot drilling operation? Let's consider the tip of a spinning drill. As you see, the, the drill is rotating here. It's got two sides. And, and let's also remember that the, the top surface of any part is never going to be perfectly flat, nor will it ever be perfectly smooth. And so as that drill is coming down into the surface, one side or the other is going to come in contact with that surface first. And as soon as it does, there's going to be a cutting force that's going to tend to push on the drill opposite the direction of motion of the cutting edge coming into contact. And so what that's going to do, um, because anything that you push on is going to deflect if it's supported simply at one end, what that's going to end up doing for us as our drill comes down, as soon as one side or the other comes in contact, there's going to be, so let's say this side comes in contact first, there's going to be a cutting force that's going to tend to push the drill in this direction, let's say. So there's a cutting force pushing the drill in this direction. As it comes in contact, it's going to walk the tip over just a little bit. Now, since we're in a uh, machine tool here, this end of the drill is held very rigidly. And so what's going to end up happening is that force is going to deflect the end of the drill. As it does that, the hole that it makes is going to come, tend to come off at an angle like this. And when it comes through the part, you'll have a hole at this side that doesn't line up in dimensions with the hole on the top side. So our drill is going to bend out and deflect. Anybody that's ever used a hand drill to drill through a piece of metal has seen this happen. And um, if it deflects too much, then the drill breaks and we don't drill the hole at all. So how does a spot drill keep this from happening? Well, a spot drill has a tendency to be much larger diameter compared to its length from its support. The deflection here actually depends on the cutting force, so the amount of that cutting force, the length cubed, and that's divided by three times the elastic modulus of the material that the, uh, the drill's made out of, times the area moment of inertia for the drill, which we can approximate as the area moment of inertia for a uh, rod, a solid rod. And area moment of inertia for the rod depends on pi times the radius to the fourth power divided by four. So the bigger this dimension is compared to this dimension, the less deflection that you're going to get. So we'll come in with a spot drill, which is basically just a short stubby drill. There's different designs for them, but a spot drill will then make a mark on the top of the part like this. When our drill comes in now, even though our spot drilling operation won't be perfect either, when one side comes in contact, it's going to push the drill up against the other side, which is going to push back on it, and it's going to tend to guide the drill. Now you know why I'm an engineer and not an artist. It's going to tend to guide the drill straight through the part, and we'll end up with a straight hole. Now do you always have to spot drill? Of course not. If you're already making a hole with a short stubby drill, the spot drilling is probably unnecessary. If you're using a carbide drill, where you have a very high elastic modulus, the deflection is going to be very small because of the elastic modulus of the carbide. Um, if you've got a very short length, you probably don't need to do the spot drilling operation. Um, as you get experience doing this, you'll get a feeling for whether or not you need to do a spot drilling operation. There's some other tips. For example, if you use a carbide drill, you have to use a spot drill with the exact same tip uh, angle here, this angle in here for the spot drill and the carbide drill should be exactly the same or you shouldn't spot drill. Um, when you're using a high speed steel drill like our example here, you actually want that angle here on your spot drill to be larger than the angle here on your uh, high speed steel drill so that you come into contact on the edge which pushes it out against the other edge and it guides it down into that hole.